Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Bryce, and welcome to Man Talk Episode 1. I'm going to be putting out one video a week, and I'm going to be talking specifically to men. There are lots of women in the profession of coaching or therapy and lots of women involved in self-development work, but not as many men, and especially not as many men speaking to men. So I want to create a space for that to happen. So I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So today I want to talk about self-esteem, a couple ways that, that we can build it and what gets in the way. So first off, I'm really aware that men control a lot of the world in a lot of ways. We're talking about government, we're talking about businesses, we're talking about money, we're talking about even in family systems that are more traditional, where men work or make more money. So I see that and I don't necessarily think that men feel happy underneath or fulfilled or have self-esteem. And what leads me to believe that is that men kill themselves at very high rates, they have lots of issues with alcoholism and drug addiction, um, depression, and after speaking with hundreds of men getting underneath the surface, I just think we're struggling. So there's that. So self-esteem is a really interesting one because it's this experience that we have of feeling uh, fulfilled, feeling like we're, we're enough, right? And uh, the first piece to understand is that just being a human is enough. What you do out in the world does not decide your worth as a person. You have someone that works at McDonald's. You have someone that's a CEO of a company. As a person, they have the same worth. And that's one thing you need to understand. So whether you're an overachiever or underachiever at this point in your life, that really doesn't matter. You're worth, you're worth it as a person. You're worthy of love. And you need to know that. So that's like the more the feminine side of it. Uh, the masculine side is that if you're the type that's feeling stuck, uh, feeling like you're just really lazy, odds are you ha just have a buildup of emotional energy. No one ever showed you or taught you how to sift through all that. So you may need some type of guide. You may need to read some books, watch some videos, and do some personal work because odds are like it, it's not just laziness. It's not just depression. There, there are underlying issues here. And as men, we're conditioned to not talk about those issues. We actually do it with each other, right? So growing up, a lot of us were kind of trained not to talk about emotions. It's kind of, or cry, get emotional, it's weak, don't get triggered, right? Um, so instead, we stuff it down, and this buildup creates a lot of tension in our bodies, and anxiety and depression are the result. So my advice to you is, A, you got to get some help in some way, find a mentor, Find a group, a community that can support you in doing this internal work. And the second thing is you got to get out in the real world and do something and no one can do it for you. So whether it's service, whether it's finding a job, whether it's getting back in the dating game, whatever it is, like just the act of going out there and trying is going to help you build self-esteem, committing to esteemable acts. So if you're on the couch right now and you're wondering like why you're stuck in life, just get up and do something. Now's the time. So that's what I got for today, and I'll see you guys next week.